In part one of this boat flipping video series, we found a boat, bought it and brought it into the garage and we started to do some work on it. I began with the motor doing some general maintenance and service just to make sure that it was up to date. And this includes changing the gear lube, the propeller and the spark plugs. And there are two remaining things that we need to do with this motor before we can test it for real. And that's changing the motor oil and the oil filter. So let's just do that right away. And this really is the fuel filter. And this. this motor oil. Well, I was honestly expecting the motor to work by now and I've already swapped out everything that I planned out to change, including the gear oil, the gear lube or the gear lube, yeah, the motor oil, the oil filter, the spark plugs and everything like that. So I was expecting the motor to run smoothly, but uh, it doesn't start up. But the strange thing is that the motor did work when I first tested it and bought it, so I don't believe that something major or a major issue with the motor has happened uh, because that would be very unlikely. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm hoping that a battery swap will do the trick even though the battery was supposed to be new. I think there's actually a big chance that it might be something wrong with the battery because the tilt on the control box isn't really working. The guy that I bought the boat off he stole some off the market buttons on the side of the steering wheel and he and used that, uh, those buttons to tilt the motor and not the control box itself so I really don't know why I did that. So I'm going to get a new battery at the local uh, boat shop and see if that does the trick and solves my problem. finally time to test the motor again because last time it didn't really go as planned. It didn't start up and it didn't give any type of response. So I thought that it had to do something with the battery or else it was an underlying issue or a bigger problem with the motor. But before starting to troubleshoot the whole motor which is a huge process, I wanted to test if a new battery could do the trick. So I have installed a new battery and the tilt on the control box does actually work now. 
and it has probably something to do with the disconnected cable inside so after connecting that again and reinstalling the control box the tilt does now work and that's a huge bonus for any potential buyers and they don't have to use the scuff buttons on the side of the steering wheel but I still don't know if the motor works and there's only one way to find out As you can see the motor did start up but it had huge throttle at the start which made the motor incredibly loud but I didn't know what was causing this at first but taking a look inside the control box something didn't fit right and after reconnecting and reassembling the control box the motor did start perfectly so glad that I tried to swap the battery before uh, troubleshooting the rest of the motor because that would just be an immense amount of work. Now that the motor is up and running we can move on to the rest of the boat. Washing it, cleaning it and making it look nice. 